Hi everyone, uh, today we will be discussing about continuous time Fourier series and uh, the short form is CTFS. Now this is one more uh, type of representation of a signal in frequency domain. DTFS dealt with the discrete time signal and its uh, conversion into frequency domain. Now here we are uh, dealing with continuous time signal that is x of t and its conversion into frequency domain that is x of k. The x of k here and the notation used in DTFS is same. Only the difference is in DTFS x of n was used here it is x of t. Now as usual you will be having two equations one is direct uh, Fourier I mean Fourier series expansion the other one is the inverse so if you have x of t how do you get x of k that is given by analysis equation so it is similar to the DTFS equation there we had 1 by n summation over entire n here you have integration over entire t t means a spirit we are dealing with continuous time Fourier series wherein the input signal has to be periodic. So if input signal is periodic then it will have its fundamental period which is given by T. Knowing the fundamental period we can calculate the fundamental frequency angular frequency that is omega naught is equal to 2 pi by T radians. So if you if x of t is given if you integrate over an entire period and multiply with a complex exponential it is e power minus j k omega naught t dt this is a uh, equation to find the dtfs coefficients of x of t which is similar to d uh, sorry ctfs uh, coefficients of x of t which is similar to the dtfs equation except for the fact that you had summation over entire n x of t was replaced by x of n e power minus j k omega naught was replaced by this omega naught in case of discrete time um, for a series and divided by the period there we had 1 by n here it is 1 by t so this is the analysis equation now once we have got this got this how do we get back my original signal x of t so that is given by the equation here which is summation now remember even though your x of t is periodic x of k is non periodic unlike your x of k of DTFS in x of uh, in DTFS x of n was periodic even x of k was periodic but here x of t is periodic but x of k is non periodic this is the fundamental difference between uh, DDFS and CTFS. So if you sum, sum up x of k coefficients from minus infinity to plus infinity and if you multiply with the complex conjugate of the previous exponential multiplier for CTFS uh, calculation then you get back your original signal x of t and that signal is and that equation is called synthesis equation. So the things to be remembered here is the D CTFS equation, the fundamental period, the angular frequency and you also have to know that x of k is non-periodic.